Hi, Maura, Timmy, Peter, Gracie, John, Patrick, Aiden, Clara. How about another story, everybody? This one is actually one of my favorites. It's called Bedtime for Tiny Mouse. Tiny Mouse couldn't sleep. He curled and twirled, flipped and flopped. He snuggled and huggled, but he was still wide awake. So he climbed out of bed and scampered off to the living room. Mommy Mouse, he sighed. I can't sleep a wink. My head's full of fizz and my eyes won't stay shut. Try counting sheep, said Mommy Mouse. That will put you to sleep. Tiny Mouse scurried back to his bedroom and began counting sheep in his head. <laughs> At first, the sheep jumped nicely, but then they started doing cartwheels, star jumps, and ridiculous roly polies. Tiny Mouse couldn't keep up. So he climbed out of bed and padded off to the kitchen. Daddy Mouse, he sighed. I can't sleep a wink. My feet are full of fireworks and my knees won't behave. Try drinking this cup of warm milk, said Daddy Mouse. That will put you right to sleep. Tiny Mouse trotted back to his bedroom and sipped his milk. Hmm, he soon began to feel drowsy. But then a drop of milk dribbled down his nose. <coughs> he sneezed so hard he fell right out of bed. So he hopped off to see his big brother Milo. Milo! He shouted, I can't sleep a wink. My tail is twitchy and my ears are excited. Milo was listening to his favorite loud music. Try dancing around your room to tire yourself out, said Milo. That will put you to sleep. Tiny Mouse hurried back to his bedroom and started dancing. Round and round he went, jigging faster and faster. He tried ballet. He tried hip-hop. He even did the Highland Fling. But nothing tired him out. He was more awake than ever. So he skipped to the front porch. Grandma Mouse! He sighed, I can't sleep. Is your head full of fizz? Asked Grandma Mouse. Yes, sighed Tiny Mouse. And are your feet full of fireworks? Yes, said Tiny Mouse. Even my whiskers are wide awake. Grandma Mouse looked up at the deep, dark sky where a golden moon floated peacefully. I know just what to do, she said. Grandma patted her knee and Tiny Mouse scrambled up. The mouse in the moon will sing you to sleep, said Grandma. But he's very shy. So first, you must close your eyes. Tiny Mouse shut his eyes 
And by and by, a soft voice began singing, Lay down your head, little dreamer, close sleepy eyes, time to drift off, little dreamer, beneath starry skies, cozy and warm, little dreamer, arms hold you tight, sleep safe and sound, little dreamer, all through the night. Tiny Mouse felt very sleepy. The fireworks in his feet flew away and the fizz fizzled out of his head. His frisky whiskers drooped and his knees settled down at last. Grandma Mouse carefully carried him indoors and tucked him in bed. Tiny Mouse curled and twirled, flipped and flopped, snuggled and huggled, and finally fell asleep. Good night, little dreamer, whispered Grandma Mouse. Sleep tight. Hey, everyone. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this story. Um, you may notice that Grandma Mouse had her phone ring in the background. But like a good Grandma Mouse, she did not answer it. <laughs> So no, no cell phones when I'm reading a story to all of you. Oh, my goodness. I love you all so much. I miss you so much. I will see you soon. I hope you liked this story. I love you. I love you. I love you.